Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and today I thought we would do just a get ready with me. I'm starting to get ready for the day, potentially filming a organizing my makeup um, in my closet and thought that I would just sit down and film myself getting ready and chatty, maybe tell you a little bit about myself because uh, I haven't shared anything like that yet, but we'll go ahead and get started. So I have already done like a primer spray on my face. And then I thought today I would use the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. Let's see if that'll focus, there we go. And this is in the shade 30 Beige. I love this, um, I guess it's called a, let's see, Ultra Light Skin Perfecting Sunscreen Makeup, but I really have been enjoying um, this. This is new to me, definitely not new by any means to Chanel. Let's see, if I look over here to my side, it's just where my mirror is. Alrighty. This does have a little bit of a fragrance, but I do like that it has the SPF. I like that it's light coverage and it's a pretty natural finish. It's not really matte, not really dewy. Have my everyday makeup bag over here next to me. And let's just go ahead and start to press or work this into the skin. Last night I uploaded a short that has me masking, so I feel like my skin is nice and prepped today for makeup. This is a really good match for me. I'm typically a 30 beige in Chanel. I have, um, I think I have the, what is it? The Chanel foundation that's in the jar. I can't think of the name at this exact moment, but I do have that. Okay, I'll say subscribe to my channel. My daughter is telling me to say subscribe to my channel. Um, so I do have my uh, Le Tint in the jar in a 20 beige and it's a little light, but it's good for the winter. But I'll zoom you in a little bit. This is a pretty good, ooh, that's a bronzer brush. Pretty good match for me. in the spring and summer. There we go, alrighty. Get some of my brushes out of the way. So because I haven't really done much of an introduction for myself, um, I am 35 years old. My skin type is normal to dry. I am a mother of two lovely children. My kids' names are Duke and Olive. They are six and four. My son is six, my daughter's four. Um, they keep me very busy, they're a lot of fun. I do have a full-time job, so I work in software as my full-time job. Apply a little concealer, and by a little I mean quite a bit. I love to um, kind of focus on areas that I need a little bit more coverage or that I prefer a little bit more coverage with this foundation, so instead of building up the foundation, I prefer to use like more concealer like underneath my eyes, brighten up the center of my face. That was the, I never shared what that was. This is the one size turn up the base concealer. This is in the shade Fair 3. I like this concealer. I don't love it. I think I would, re I don't know if I would repurchase it because there's so many that I do like. I love the Hourglass concealer. That's definitely more full coverage. I would say this is like medium to full on me. Um, I don't notice a fragrance with it. Again, none of this is really like new, new in makeup, but some, of, well, the Patrick Star is not even new to me, but like the Chanel is new to me, but some old faves, some stuff that I'm trying to work through that I've had for a while. So here we are with the concealer on. All right, take it back out a little bit. Not so up close and personal. And I typically will use a sponge to do my concealer. And uh, then I'll kind of just take it over the face to kind of just smooth everything out or press everything into the skin. 
And then I've been using the LYS bronzer stick. However, I don't love it for my cheek because it is a little large and I noticed that I take my bronzer a little low. I also apparently left it up when I put the lid on. So that's good. Alrighty, so I'll just go ahead and use this for today. I do really like the shade a lot, especially because I go in with a powder bronzer over. I'm gonna take it a little higher than I have been because I noticed that when I blend, I've been dropping it down too low. Um, let's take a little bit more here. So as far as the LYS bronzer stick goes, this is in the shade um, Motivate. So this is the No Limits stick bronzer. There we go. And then what I use for my bronzer, which this is very dirty, but I love this like hourglass foundation brush for um, blending in my bronzer. So we'll go ahead and just take that up into the hairline. Lucky for me, I have nice dark hair, so you can't really see the bronzer in my hairline. And then kind of tap that in here. I'm pretty heavy handed when it comes to my stick bronzer. But we'll get everything blended out here around my nose. And then underneath my lip. I noticed that underneath my lip gives me even more fullness. I do have filler. I've done filler for quite a while in my lips, a couple years. I get Botox just to be transparent with everything I've had done, but that's about it. Just filler my lips and Botox. Go over everything with my sponge. All my tools are very dirty. So save the judgment. I will typically go in with my foundation brush, no additional product and kind of blend everything out there. And then let's see. I have been absolutely loving these Huda Beauty, um, like cheek, let's see what these are called. The Cheeky Tent Blur Sticks. This is in Coral Cutie. I love all of these shades, all of the sticks that I have. I have a pink one and the coral one. The coral one has been my go-to recently, but I think today, my last haul I mentioned that I have never tried the Charlotte Tilbury um, Glowgasm wand and I picked up Pinkgasm because that was what I've been loving and I went through my collection and I 100% had this already and just forgot that I ever purchased it. So we're gonna go ahead and use this today. Kind of adds a little glow, add a little on my nose. And then I typically will go in with the same hourglass brush for my um, liquid blush because it kind of just, I feel like, blends everything together here. And I apologize for the lack of eye contact. I am new. <laughs> I try to not look at the viewfinder or I try not to look into my mirror too, too much. But this is all of my liquid products. I do go in and do touch everything with um, powder after. Powder blush, powder bronzer, powder, powder for underneath my eyes and setting my face. But this is everything with the cream products. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Alrighty, so now what I typically will do is I will set underneath my eyes. Let me find my, this is a random brush that I use. It is my favorite brush. It's a brush from Tarte. And I think I got it like with a QVC special for like the Park Avenue Princess. There was like a contour and bronzer palette that was like years. I got it years ago and I never actually used the palette that much, but 
this brush came with that and it is my all time favorite brush for powder. I've even tried to find it like on the Tarte website to try to purchase more because when this just dies on me one day, I will be so upset. But I love it because it's really tiny and I can press powder in underneath my eyes. I can get the forehead really well, my smile lines here really well. And then the powder that I'm using is the Huda Beauty Loose Powder. I have normal to dry skin like I mentioned, but I do tend to get like kind of, I wouldn't say I'm oily, but like I do get quite a bit of glow as the day goes on. So I do like to set almost all areas that I've put concealer with my powder. I do really love the Givenchy powder as well, the loose powder, but I have had this for quite a while. So this is the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder. This is in the shade Sugar Cookie, so it's like the white shade. Um, or I don't know if this is translucent, translucent or white, but I think it's for light skin tones, but I really do love this powder. It's amazing. Um, I like the Givenchy too, that's been very viral, but I see myself going back to the Huda Beauty Powder all the time. Um, and then I will go in with, let's see, I'm not gonna use that today. I will go in with my um, powder bronzer and set anywhere that I put my liquid bronzer or my stick bronzer. Um, I recently picked up the Dior um, Forever Natural Bronze um, bronzer. This is in the shade 05 Warm Bronze. I am never a shade 05. This looks pretty deep, I feel like, in the pan, but it's not as deep as it appears when you put it on. This is the um, BK Beauty 103 brush. My foundation was, brush was the BK Beauty 101 um, foundation brush. I will get better about listing everything or talking about everything that I'm using. I'm gonna take that everywhere that I did my stick bronzer. Also really been loving the um, Chantakai blushes and this is the Wild Meadows blush. So this is from the Spring Collection. This color is so, so pretty. It has like this most gorgeous glow. I am obsessed with this color and it makes me want so many more Chantakai blushes. But um, this is again, Wild Meadows blush from Spring and using the um, Sephora Pro Foundation 55 brush for my blush. This is a great blush brush. And again, just kind of going over anywhere that I put the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beauty Glowgasm Beauty Wand in Pinkgasm. These colors complement each other really well. And then as the powder, if it starts to fade throughout the day, which I haven't really noticed much of, but if it does, we have really good color still from the Charlotte Tilbury product. So that's what I have been using or enjoying for my everyday makeup bag as far as blush and bronzer goes. I also have the Gucci bronzer, which I love. This is an O2. This is a little too deep for me, but I also picked up the O1 in my recent haul. And then I love the Tom Ford Glow bronzer in the shade O2 Terra. This is hard panned. It's because I use so many cream products underneath, but um, this color is gorgeous and I love this bronzer and I should just try to finish this to kind of hit pan and move on but this is a really good bronzer as well so I love trying out some new bronzers but really enjoying the Dior and I think it sits really nicely on the Chanel so I'm going to go in and um, just go with my Kosas Airbrow been loving this I haven't really used a pencil frequently um, with my I don't go in with a pencil or anything and this is in the um, brown black shade this is on its last leg. I have a backup, I think, somewhere, but I do like this product. So we'll just get through with my brows. I feel like this helps, because I do have um, some decent brow hair. I previously had um, like ombre powder brow or microblading done a couple years ago. So I just feel like this kind of like gets rid of some of that foundation or powder look on my brows and just sets everything, deepens them up a little bit. I feel like everyone's brow routine is is different, but um, this is what's been working for me recently. So this is just a quick and easy way 
to finish out my brows. If I am like doing something more special occasion or um, more glam, then I will take a little more time to fill in my brows, go through with um, like a Benefit Brow Pencil. But this works for me right now. Again, I'm a mom of two young kids. So we get done what we can. Alrighty, righty, going with a little lip liner in uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep, uh, deep Taupe. I used to be um, pretty ride or die for Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, and I still am. But uh, these ABH lip pencils are also really, really good. Again, this is deep taupe, but I really like these. And Ulta is closer to me than uh, Sephora, so it's easier to pick these up than driving to Sephora to try to find a Charlotte Tilbury one. My newest shade is Sunbaked. They're all pretty like neutral browny shades, but I like that one as well. Um, Pillow Talk, readily available always, but these are really good. These are really good alternatives if you find it easier to find those than Charlotte Tilbury. Um, okay, next up. I think today I'm probably just going to run a little bit of bronzer through the crease for eyes. No, actually I'm gonna go in with the Burberry Holiday Palette. This palette is stunning. I don't know if you can still get it or not. I probably shouldn't show it if I don't know, but if you can, I highly suggest that you pick this palette up. The colors are gorgeous, it's neutral. I'm a neutral lover, but these shimmers are stunning. This green khaki color is so beautiful. This taupey brown is stunning. They are so easy to work with. They blend like a dream. I think today I'll go in, I keep going in with, I'm gonna go in with this top shade here. It's like a matte brown. And that is literally called brown matte, so. That is the shade name. This is a BK Beauty 201 that I'm using for shadow. Okay. And we'll just run this through the crease. Again, I'm gonna do a one and done eyeshadow look today. You're looking so cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Alrighty, just make sure that's nice and blended into the crease. Kind of a ready brown if you ask me. Maybe it just pulls warm on me. I prefer neutral shades and cool tone shades over warmer shades, but we are in summer, so. Alrighty. And then I've been loving, like everyone else and their besties, loving the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. This is great. I'm actually a really big tubing mascara fan, but I really enjoy this one if it's not a tubing mascara. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is set my face first. I don't think I'm missing anything. Using the Lawless Longwear Skin Soothing Makeup Protecting Glam Guard. This is a really, really good setting spray. I really enjoy this one, actually. It's a very, very fine mist. You have the roller ball to get it all nice and has a nice fragrance. I mean, it's very light. I wouldn't say like it has fragrance in it, but um, really, really good setting spray. I tend to move around with what setting sprays I'm using. I love the Charlotte Tilbury one as well, um, but I'm always open to trying a new setting spray. And you know what? I actually was sent these It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Shadow Sticks from Influencer recently. And I think I'm going to go ahead and actually throw this into the inner corner. Just kind of brighten it up. Add a little shimmer. 
And then my battery is about to die. For this, let's go ahead and throw a little mascara on and call it a day. You guys are annoying me right now. Okay. Alrighty, so that's just a couple coats of this Make Waves mascara on my top lashes. Not really doing much today, maybe organizing my makeup like I mentioned earlier in the video. So I don't really need to have anything full glam, but just get ready for the day. Run a few errands later with my kids. My husband's out of town right now. Okay, so camera died, but finish up the mascara. Let me zoom you in a little bit here. Finish up the mascara. Is it going to focus? Not on my Peloton. All right, finish up the mascara here. Now I thought I would throw on a little bit of, sorry for the light change too. My lights are kind of yellow, like in this room. So I turned those off and just put on like my light over here, my box light. So. Thought I would throw on a little bit of the Makeup by Mario Bare Glow Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. Again, shade is Bare Glow, very neutral. Alrighty, and that is the look for today. So everybody, I hope that you have a great day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like and subscribe, that would mean the world to me. Trying to grow uh, my presence here, but I appreciate every single person that's already subscribed to my channel and I appreciate all the love and support. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next one.